Okay, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to record depreciation on assets. Um, so the idea of depreciation is that um, assets like cars, um, like furniture or like premises loses their value over time. There's something physical and over time they just lose value. So if you got, got a car today, next year it's not going to have the same value because it's going to lose value over time. That's like a, a fact. Of life. Physical things deterior deteriorate over time. Um, so we're going to record the fact that our assets or fixed assets in to be precise have lost value. So we got down here um, adjustments and we can see down here that depreciation on all fixed assets are 10%. And we can also see that it's an adjustment. Um, I should say that the reason why everything has been highlighted in yellow is that I'm almost following on from a previous example here, just with a twist that in this case we also need to adjust for depreciation of fixed assets. So the fact that I've highlighted all of these items basically means that I have already transferred them into the profit and loss account and the balance sheet. And that include the adjustment for closing stock. In this case, it's £2,000. So if we go in, in and look, we can see that I've already transferred all of these items um, just to save uh, um, a bit of work. So that's all done for us. So the, the only thing we got left to do is effectively account for the depreciation on the fixed assets um, and um, calculate um, each of our formulas and that should basically do it. Um, so with depreciation, um, what you actually do is that we got our fixed assets over here. They're going to lose value over time. In this case, they're going to lose 10% of value. So what we got to do is within this column here, for each of the items, we've got to calculate how much value they have lost. Um, so for example, the premises is 90,000 um, pounds. They have lost 10%. So 10% of 90,000 pounds is 9,000. Um, so we put that there. Um, our office fittings of 25,000 have lost 10% of value. So 10% of 25,000 is 2,500. And the same thing with motor vehicles, 10% of 9,000 is 900. Um, once you have added all of, or you've calculated the depreciation they have lost over time, you can, you can add them all up, or you have to add them all up. So 9,000 plus 2,500 plus 900 equals 12,400. And that 12,400 is the total depreciation that our assets have lost this year. In other words, all of our fixed assets together have lost a, a total or combined value of 12,400 pounds. And that is an expense to the business. So that 12,400 pounds, we're going to write off as an expense down here as well. So we're gonna write in under expenses, depreciation, 12,400. So, um, I've said in a previous video where we where I demonstrated how to um, record closing stock that adjustments are always recorded into two places. Um, and in this case, it's recorded here on the expenses and it's recorded under the accumulated depreciation. Or in other words, all of these items at combined is 12,400. And so it is down here. So we've got 12,400 effectively in two places. What is just uh, left to do is to calculate the net book value up here. So our net book value is the value of our assets after we have accounted for the loss of value that they have incurred. So in the beginning of the period, our premises was worth £90,000. They lost £9,000 of value this year. So in the end of this year, they're worth 90000 minus 9000 81000 um, in the beginning of the period, the office fittings was worth 25,000. They dropped 2,500 pounds in value. So now they're worth 25,000 minus 2,500, 22,500, so on and so forth. And in the end, you will need to then total up 
all of the netbook values and that would then give you almost like your updated or your real value of your assets so those three added together is now has got a real value of 1111,600 so let's go and do it so in our case it's the same thing depreciation on all fixed assets is 10 percent so um Let's go to here. So first, premises, 90,000 pounds, we need to take 10%. It's easily done in Excel. We can say equal to 10% times by the 90,000. So we click on the 90,000. That gives us 9,000. And we can even take that and click it over here so that we can see the mouse goes black um, or, the, or, or the mouse icon thing goes from being like a white plus to like a black plus. Left click, hold the button down, drag it down to, and it just calculates automatically for us. If we were doing this on a calculator and we wanted to calculate, for example, 10%, um, there's many different ways of doing it. One way of doing it would simply be to say 10. So 10 and percent basically means 100. So 10 uh, divi or divided by 100 is, is what percent means. That gives us 0 0.1, and if you times that, with this case, it's 90,000 pounds. Will give you 9,000 pounds, just like I've done over here. So the, the percentage, so 10, um, and percent means divided by 100. So 10 divided by 100, you can do that on a calculator, and then times it by whatever it is. In this case, it's 90,000 um, pounds. Netbook value. You simply calculate it by um, actually no I shouldn't do that yet so um, now we've calculated all of um, um, the the drop or the fall in value for this year for all of the assets are combined we can see down here combined is 12,400 so we will need to write that off as an expense as well so that is equal to the depreciation is equal to this one plus this one plus this one 12,400 um, and now we've recorded in one place here and we recorded the depreciation in the second place up there so now last thing calculate the netbook value which is equal to the original cost of the asset so what's worth to us minus however much it has fallen in value that is the new value of the asset and again we can do the same thing make sure the cursor gets like a black um, plus and we can just drag it down to here and then finally we need to add every single item up so this item here is equal to this one plus this one plus this one um, now um, our expenses have obviously changed, they've become more. So I've cheated a little bit and I already calculated this whole section. So all we've got left to now is up here is to um, add all of our expenses up. And our net profit is our gross profit minus our all our, our expenses. Our net profit has to be moved down into our net profit section. So that's equal to... Uh, or our capital section um, so this item here is equal to our net profit up there so we can see that it's now 6587 so the capital we would need or the capital in the end of the period still need to calculate that opening capital plus net profit minus drawings is that and left we have got just to calculate the net assets and the net assets is our fixed assets plus our current assets minus our current liabilities minus our long-term liabilities and as we can see net assets are the same as our closing capital so that suggests that I have done it correctly